Okay, you guys. So, um, my phone had ran out of storage, but this is part two. Okay, to what I was talking about. So, um, yeah, Carmen is still like spiteful and still being evil and stuff. Let me move this stuff out the way. Let me put my hands in the video. Page of Cups, yeah, definitely new love is coming in, and I feel like your intuition is like you know really heightened at this time. You're feeling a lot of new energy, a lot of emotion, all right. And I feel like even with about your future here, but I feel like you guys feel new love coming towards you, knocking at your door, like we've been talking about, all right. And I feel like this is the love who you know there was some confusion, all right, in that situation, and I feel like you know confusion in the past that is going to be healed, all right. That's only if you want it. I'm getting no communication. Okay, they're gonna be coming through with an apology. All right, somebody definitely faced karma. I feel like you know this person, you know, if this is a reconciliation, this is reconciliation. But like the person who you're reconciling with, they um they missed talking to you. Okay, they did, and they then they experienced a little bit of karma by not talking to you for some reason here. All they could think about was you with the Queen of Wands. All right, you and like moving forward in the future here. All right, with you and with this three of swords and seven of cups, there was a there was delusion, confusion that separated you guys that caused this like grief, this heartache. All right, in the past, and then I feel like they want to work on the past here. They really, really, really do. They miss the old memories. They reminisce on like pictures and stuff, and they just want to make it better. They want to make it better here, and they're like, I'm coming towards you. And a lot of you guys had to set boundaries and be like, you know, right now I'm just not ready. Okay, I got a lot going on in my mind here, and it's like, you know, I want to put certain, like, thought patterns to rest, negative thought patterns to rest. You guys pretty pretty much rejected this person, but they've been, you know, patiently waiting for you, holding off, and, I, and they probably feel like it's been long enough, like, you know, it's time for them to, like, make a move and transform this situation here. All right, there was some sneaky energy. Somebody could have been lying, not telling the truth either, all right, about certain things here. Which is a part of the reason why you blocked them out. But I feel like you guys aren't really worrying about that no more. I feel like those are like projections. I'm hearing evil projections. Those are projections here, okay? And I feel like with this seven, I mean with this fool. Hold on, you guys. I thought I had paused my music. Alright, and with that fool, I feel like you guys are going to be taking a leap of faith in this situation. Why is the seven of wands here? There's something that's blocked. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, spirit is closing the door out with these karmics that's in conflict with you. And spirit is like, you're going to solely focus on this new beginning. Like, you have no choice. Yes, God and spirit is ordaining, alright, for these karmics to be in the hangman. Alright, to surrender, and they're going to be stagnant. They're going to be rooted to their own spell work. Alright, yeah, and I feel like they're going to be blocked. Block from even tapping into your crown. All right. I'm getting like your crown is going to be like a block. Like they're going to be blocked here. If they try to tap into your crown here with this page of swords, this would be like calling, paging. All right. Trying to, you know, tap into your crown to seek information. All right. They're going to be blocked. What I'm trying to say is like, think of a phone. Your crown is your phone. You see how you can block numbers? This karmic is going to be blocked. They're going to be a block contact. They're going to be blocked from contacting you via crown chakra. Through astral projection, dream work, or whatever. They're going to be blocked. Alright, they've been working with other people. They are not doing this by themselves. They are definitely working with other people. There's no way they can do this on their own. I'm picking up. They're working with other people. Yeah, cancer energy. I feel like they move working with people that know how to, you know, make the ancestors move here. And it's like they're working with people so they can move forward with you. To get you back. To hold you back from moving on and to get you back. Sorry, y'all. All right, yeah, and they want you in the hermit. They want to take your purpose. They've been stealing your purpose and trying to give it to whoever they're working with. They're they're trying to steal your purpose and give it to that person. Okay, the person who initiates who initiated the attacks. This could be an ex here. All right, that gave you a false love offer. I'm getting they the ones who was like moving on from you and detaching from you, and you just decided to step into that impress energy, and they've been hating like, oh, why ain't people stepping into the impress? They was having third parties on you, and then coming back home to you, wanting to like reconcile with you and stuff like that after they just cheated. All right, what I'm also picking up is that they could have even gave you like OCD and 
stuff. All right, yeah, I feel like this person needs to heal, like we've been saying, heal from their black magic because they're having a lot of dark thoughts. They're, like, really dark from that black magic that they've been practicing. I'm getting the practitioner magic is working on them as well. Yeah, they're rejected. They're reprobate. I feel like they kind of messed up their life. Their life is chaotic. They feel empty inside. It's almost like somebody wants to kill themselves. Like, they feel like they one way out just killing themselves, and they can, and they can like, get back into the astral and be themselves, but they don't realize they're going to be spiritually trapped. So it's, it's, almost, it's like... Let them do it. Is they're trapping themselves? Let them do it. They're gonna be stuck in karma. Let me pull some of these cards, you guys. Yeah, this person is an old wound that is definitely needs to be released. This is an old wound. This person is an old wound that definitely needs to be released. Like for real, for real. You need to just continue to focus on success. All right, and with and I'm getting justice as well. So, with that, focus on justice, karma, making sure that this person receives karma for what they've done for you. And not in the sense of, oh, I'm sitting at home all day waiting for them to get karma. No, like, you making, you putting your ancestors to work to make sure that they don't do what they do to you again. Or the others. Alright, yeah, you're fierce. Fierce like a lion here. You're fierce. And I feel like you serve harsh judgment. Alright, and I'm, and I'm getting to the wicked. Come, come, come. I'm getting you serve harsh um harsh judgment to the car um to the wicked. There we go to the karmic. They're wicked here, and and I feel like with this luck, everything goes in your favor. Typically, when these karmics, you know, get their karma, they be they be. Shh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. When these karmics get their karma, they be a s s out. All right, you're very lucky. All right, yeah, you're ready to the um to set things off here. I hope I said that right, but with this jet setter, you're ready. All right, I'm getting you ready and lucky here. You're ready and lucky. Got a few people jealous of you still here. Like we talked about in the last read, they still projecting, watching you and stuff. I'm gonna be saying that a lot throughout the read to let you know like they're still watching you, and this could be in the 3D. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, in the 3D or astrally. But taking control, yeah, your ancestors are taking control of this ex-masculine that's doing this to you, and they're going to be serving them karma, and they can't run. They're trapped. They they ran right into a trap. Somebody from your um soul tribe could be doing this to you, too, doing spell work. They're false. They're false soul tribe. They was always jealous of you because you're more fierce than them, more sexy than them, all right, as well, more talented, gifted, have more money, and I feel like even your love life is better. You have more of a light love life. Their love life is full of darkness, like, I feel like they have to experience darkness in their love life in order to heal and grow. And you're focusing on being a, help, a wealthy woman and a healthy woman, upgrading your life, upgrading your into your higher self, activating those light codes. You're focusing on inner peace through healing, healing your DNA, your bloodline. Some of you guys just moved or are moving, all right? Or I'm getting... Hmm? You want juice? Yeah, and I'm getting you guys are just moving forward to a higher timeline, and you're keeping quiet about it. All right, at the same time, you're speaking your truth. I'm getting like you're you're speaking your truth in the midst of not telling everything to the karmic here. All right, I feel like you speaking your truth is a form of belief. Can you pour some juice? Ew, my no, that's crazy. Can you give her is some juice? Big? Yeah, you're about to glow up. Is I don't think so. Big? I don't think it's that big, unless it's like. You know, infected, but you're glowing up here. All right, and good news, you're glowing up. And good news, you shedding this karmic energy, this new moon here. Karmic keeps thinking about you. That's how you know that this spell work working against them. Spirit is fighting for you. All right, and it's and they're fighting to you know keep you. Oh, um, they're fighting to break a trap or like some curse or spell that's trying to keep you from your wealthy man we already got the wealthy woman that's the emperor and the empress y'all both are success are going to be successful and you guys are both successful healers all right and lightheartedness this person makes you feel good all right they heal your heart and, and you're that's why you're in good health energetically wise like energy wise you are healthy and strong because your your vibration is rising all right this person finds you beautiful and they support you 
they respect you. They support your business. All right, your business, your entrepreneurship is about to have a pay raise here. All right, you're feeling, you're healing family issues. All right, and I'm getting your healing any feelings pertaining to like family, past love. What you want, Juice? You want juice? Yeah, you guys. Um, yeah, you have you are a blessing in disguise. We have blessings coming in. I'm getting you are the blessing in your family. You are the generational curse breaker here, indulging great value. Wow, you guys are going to be indulging in a lot of great value, great fortune, and a lot of great fortune here. All right, something. What is this great value? I keep getting that's Walmart. Is somebody like watching you in Walmart here? I feel like there was someone trying to get you kidnapped. At Walmart here, like a Soul Tribe member, an ex Soul Tribe member was trying to get you kidnapped at like Walmart. Okay, that's not for everyone here, and I feel like you are about to. This vacation is like you're you're getting out of that energy here. All right, that energy could be on someone else here. I feel like this person needs to heal their inner child because they're wounded. All right, they were just jealous because you're confident and useful, and you ain't taking no shit, and that everyone likes you, and and it seems like no one likes them, even like in love. That's not for everyone, though. And I would be saying great value sometimes, and it, it's not even on purpose. I mean, when they say great fortune, like Spirit was trying to warn y'all about Walmart, Wally World. Maybe we also just stop shopping at Let's see. What am I tasting? Okay. You guys are safe here. You guys are uncrossed from the karmic energy. We have Al. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition and patience. a lot of spiritual messages you guys are very wise i feel like y'all need to slow down with you know who you're gaining getting spiritual like advice from I feel like you need to close out the cycle with them with the world here and just explore new areas all right as far as spiritual help because for some reason it's like they're not telling you the right stuff all right why is patience here let me see uh oh i didn't know this card was here past life relationship some of y'all have a past life relationship with these karmics who you guys um, are dealing with. It could be love, platonic, platonic, you know, with his friend, soul tribe members. Why is Death. Wow. Yeah. You need to end this situation with someone who you're going, you know, to for spiritual advice. Like your heart been telling you, don't go to them, don't go to them. All right, all right, and, and talk to someone new with this page of wands. Go to like a new psychic or somebody new here because this person just all they want is money, all they care about is money. Okay, I feel like you're a psychic, someone was spreading that rumor around that all you want is money, and I feel like you had to end that a situation with that person, all right, because they were spreading rumors about you. But for some of you guys, y'all going to a psychic that only cares about money. Yeah, with the moon, this is psychic abilities. Y'all definitely going to a psychic here, but all they care about is money here. We have the um, 
eight of wands yeah some of y'all communicating with a psychic about your future the knight of cups would be a um a psychic here but their third eye is cursed it's like you ask them to look into some type of love situation for you all right and with the ace of coins i feel like I feel like with the ace of coins, like you got what you you got the answers that you wanted here, but someone needs healing. I feel like you're um there's a karmic ex that needs healing. And that's another reason why you need to stop going to the psychic because you, you may be going to just ask about a karmic. This is not for everyone, this is for some of you guys. Alright, and they know that. That's why they keep, you know, keep they love for you to come. Cause they need money here yeah seven of cups i i just feel like with seven of cups there's a lot of delusion and confusion behind this 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 karmic psychic this psychic karmic whatever all right and i feel like you know with the knight of swords reverse they're just telling you what you what you want to hear they're not really telling you all like everything all right and with the three of cups they could even be like damn this is deep gossiping about you with other people okay telling them what they said about you in their reads I mean, your reads, okay, about your love. Oh, my gosh. All right. But this, was this a friend? Was this a friend? Yeah, I'm giving you guys hints and clues here. All right. Or oh, a lover. Y'all had a friend teaming up with a lover for some of you guys, getting psychic reads on you. For some of you guys, y'all need to, y'all definitely need to stop going to a psychic about a lover here and just focus and tune into your intuition. Yeah, but I feel like there's a lot of drama and conflict behind the psychic. Rather, it's friend drama or just your own psychic. And I feel like it is best if you just move forward and go to someone new. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like... With King of Cups, he's a master of his, his emotions. You need to trust your intuition and trust what you're feeling about this situation. If you're feeling heavy energy or burden from coming from this karmic dead, I mean, this, yeah, this karmic um, psychic or whoever else, just let them go. Folks, you know, trust the messages you receive from spirit here. All right, because it's like with this lion, you're very strong, you're courageous. You don't really need anyone else telling you about your energy. Harness the, lo the loyal and protective aura of the lion. And change and charge ahead magnificently. Yeah, this psychic is jealous because you're magnificent too. So you got some psychics that will tap into your energy and see you have more lighter and grander energy than them, and they'll get jealous. They really, really, really would. So I feel like you need to protect yourself. And you guys come from a royal bloodline. All right, the Leo constellation has a royal star in it. Scorpio does as well, and is another sign. All right, so you guys come from um royalty and if you're leo you definitely got royal in your bloodline most leos are regal anyway okay and we have birth here yeah i feel like honestly something's been taking some time to grow all right that's like you know this for some of you guys this could be something pertaining to your business like you may already have like a business idea that you already started but now you want to add on to it but it's just been taking a long time all right Some of y'all haven't even started y'all business yet, but y'all got the plan and the vision. It's been taking a while. I don't want to say it's the psychic fault, but I feel like you going to them about this karmic situation is not making it any better. All right. Yeah, the devil in proposal. I, there is someone that's jealous of a romantic or business opportunity indicated. Yeah, this is a fortune reading car. Y'all going to a fortune teller. All right. And she is not, you know, telling you the right stuff. Or she's telling you what you want to hear. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's jealous of some new energy that's coming in for you. All right. And they could be trying to hex that. Then this is opportunities at a distance that they ain't come in yet, but they come in. This fire here, like somebody could be trying to like burn up your blessings, your prosperity. It ain't gonna work, but y'all got a snake around y'all. See, I can't make this up. All right, look, I can't make it up. Beware, be careful who you trust at this time. Y'all definitely going to someone. Y'all need to stop going to this person. 
They just taking money from you. They just taking money from you. All right, yeah, and I feel like with the sun, this is gonna be what illuminated to you real soon. All right, I already just did. All right, but you gonna have your own like confirmation. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Yeah, you're like you have a lot of growth. All right, that and it's like, well. I'm getting your growing but at the same time stagnant. And I feel like it's because you got mixed energy. All right, you need to evolve out of this. But like a phoenix here and with this lovers, focus on the 5D. Focus on love. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Yeah. Choose a path that is about you. No karmics here. Dead to karmic energies. Celebrate. All right. And I feel like you're going to be celebrating out of these thorns, these challenges. Yeah, and unity. You're gonna be in union with someone soon. All right, but I love y'all so much. Y'all hear my baby going off. So, yeah, have a great day. Mwah.